Praise the Lord. Good morning. Hope everyone is doing well. To God be the glory for a new day. Uh, a new day in the land of the living. A new day in his presence. Um, just thankful on this morning for all that he is doing. Um, on this morning, we're going to just be reading a quick scripture in Matthew chapter 6 verses 1 through 4. And we're just talking about giving and having the right attitude in giving and when you give how you ought to give. Um, thank God for this one this morning that he reminded me to go over as I was going in my studies. Um, and this just was brought back to remembrance that when we give, we have to do it with a right spirit, with a right attitude. So let's see what the scripture says. So let's read. It's uh, Matthew chapter 6 and um, verse 1 says, watch out. Watch out. Don't don't do your good deeds publicly to be admired by others, for you will lose the reward from your Father in heaven. When you give to someone in need, don't do it as the hypocrites do, blowing trumpets in the synagogues and streets to call attentions to their acts of charity. I tell you the truth, they have received all their reward they will ever get. But when you give to someone in need, don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Give your gifts in private and your father who sees everything will reward you. This is so important that when we do things, I thank God for the scripture on this morning and I pray that um, it's a blessing to you likewise and that we would understand what God is saying here in the word of God. That when we do something, for somebody uh, that we don't make it a public notification. We don't need to broadcast it, broadcast it on every media platform, on every social media platform, or broadcast it as the newscasters would broadcast information. This is not public information. What you do should be done in private as you would do anything secretly. This should be one of those things that are done secretly. You do not need to broadcast when you do something if somebody's in need of something and you feel as if you can be a blessing to that person why would you make a public notice out of it that really is not the kind of giving that God wants us to do as givers and believers of his word as believers of his word we have to follow everything that the word of God says when we give we have to not blow a horn publicly to draw our attention, but we do our kind acts out of the heart, out of our hearts that God has placed on us, and we don't have to get a praise and a recognition. We don't have to do things so that people can see us or so that people would know that this was done for this particular person. We don't need to publicly say what others need. If you have met a need, then you pray about it. And leave it as that and pray that God would bless that person and their needs would be met, but not to make a mention of it as uh, people would do in public. And he says that this is your reward. Once you publicly, openly say that I have done something for somebody, that would be your reward. That would be your full portion. But I would just remind you that it's so much better to receive a reward from the Heavenly Father. I would want all my rewards to be from the Heavenly Father versus the recognition and praise from man. The likes, the likes and the comments is not important. What matters most is that we please the Father. So on this morning, I pray that we would, when we do our deeds, our good deeds, that it would be done in private. And if the person decides to make a mention of it, that is their testimony. Let them be the one to give God glory or give recognition to what God has done for them through you. But do not make a mention of something when you do it too. Do, do it for somebody or do something in need for somebody because it takes away what God was going to reward you with. It takes away his glory. He is to be glorified, not us as man, man. So on today, we just ask that uh, our deeds, when it's done, if it's done publicly, we realize that we get the glory. 
We don't need glory. We don't need recognition. We don't need fame. We don't need applauses, comments, and likes, and subscriptions. We just need to please God. So my heart on this morning would be to remind you to whatever you do, let it be done in secret. When you do a deed for somebody, a good deed for somebody, don't publicize it. Don't publicize it, please. Let God get the glory. Let us follow what the scripture said. The scripture says whatever we do, when we're teaching about giving to the needy, when someone is in need, you don't want to broadcast that there is a need for somebody. You pray for that person. And if you can give, thank you, Lord. Keep it moving. You keep it moving. You give and you keep it moving. You don't need to make a public recognition or send out a notice about it because God does not glorify in you getting recognition. But he gets the glory because God turns the hearts of men. We are in a position, whatever position he has us in, and we have to be careful because when we think that we have put ourselves in these positions and we want to give out of our own self, then guess what? God is the one who had given unto us. Be careful that it might be removed. So when we give to the needy or those that are in need, we don't need to publicize people's needs. We don't need to publicize people's time of their uh, desperate situations, especially now during a pandemic, especially now uh, where people are, most people are with our jobs. So the Bible says we see a need, we ought to meet the need and we if you see somebody that is in need, you don't just say, God bless you and keep it moving. If you can help, you help. But it's not to be recognized by you. It's to be recognized if the person wants to give their testimony. It's a difference. But we need not to sound the trumpets and make a loud public announcement about it. So I pray that this was a blessing to you all. And uh, keep in mind that when you do something, you do it for the glory of God and not for you. So let us pray. We're going to pray really quickly on this morning. Um... Just thanking God, just thanking God and thanking him for all that he's doing. Um, just thanking him for his word on today. It's just such an honor just to sit in his presence and just to know that he reminds his children of his word and his will. His word and his will for our lives. He constantly reminds us. So, Father, we thank you on this morning. Just begin to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you. And begin to thank him for whatever it is that you are thankful for on today. So, God, we thank you on this morning. We give your name glory because you are worthy of all the glory. I come to say thank you. All the praise and all the majesty, all the honor, all the adoration it belongs to you, Lord Jesus, and you alone. Father, we thank you for what you have given unto us. We thank you for your word on this morning that you will remind your people to walk in your word and walk after every word that you say, that we would obey your word and that we would live by your word. Help us, O oh God, to not make public examples of those that are in need and make public recognition for what things we have done, but let us, O oh God, be in a spirit of hum humility, that we would give in the spirit of love, that we would give with a quiet spirit, that we would pray, knowing, God, that you would hear our prayers and would answer our petitions. Let us pray, O oh God, for those that are in need on this morning, and let us meet the needs of your people. But Father, we thank you, God, that when we do things, you would be glory and man would not get the glory. You would be glorified. So God, on this morning, I pray that you would meet the needs of the nation. I pray, God, that in the midst of everything that's going on, that you would, oh God, open the windows of heaven and that you would make ways and that you would bless all men, God, that they would come to the knowledge of you. I pray, God, that men would pray, that they would seek your face in this time. I pray that they would understand, God, that you're waiting to hear from them and that you hear and you care for each and every petition that was asked. I pray, God, that when men ask, that they would ask in faith believing that whatever we ask you for, Father, it shall be done. I pray, God, that your people would not waver in their request. I pray that their request would be made known unto you and that when their request is made known, God, you said you would answer their request. Father, on this morning, I thank you, God, that the petitions of your people are before you and you hear your petitions. You hear the petitions of your children. I thank you that you would answer the prayers of the nation. 
I thank you, God, that you would, oh God, make ways out of no ways. I thank you, God, for the faith of your people that it would be restored. I thank you, God, that the faith for those that have faith will be continually built up to a greater faith in you. Father, I thank you, God, that we would encourage men to pray. I thank you, God, that we would encourage men to walk by your word. I thank you, God, for your word, God, that it would bring life and light, and your word would bring directives, and your word would bring peace, and your word would bring hope. Your word brings understanding. Your word bring knowledge on today. Father, I come to say thank you. Thank you for your word, God, that would bring comfort to your people, God, as they hear it. Father, open the ears of your nation, God, that they would hear from you, that they would hear your word, that they would live by your word, that they would trust in your word, that they would believe in that which your word says. But God, on this morning, we come to say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for all that you are to us. Thank you for what you have already done. Thank you for what you're going to do. We thank you for, for things in advance. We walk continually in expectation of your word. We say thank you. Thank you, Father. Now, God, have your way. Have your way in the nation. Move mightily. You get the glory. You get the glory. You get the glory. All honor and majesty it belongs to you. These things we ask in no other name than the sovereign name of our almighty Savior. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we say thank you. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Have your way, Lord, in our lives. Hallelujah, God. We give ourselves to you on today and we say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Be pleased with our service unto you. Whatever we do, God, you get the glory. You get the glory. Be blessed and let God be glorified in your lives.